Hey guys, what's going on? I'm Eric Surf 6. Welcome to Eric Meal Time. And in this one, it's going to be eating at only vending machines for a full day. It says vendor stand, and they also have alcohol. Oh, it's mostly a smoking break area, though, I think. We're going to start off with some noodles, hot noodles. You can put the water in it right here. I've got a bunch of different kinds. The standard cup noodle, this is curry flavored miso. This is kimchi right here. I've never had that. There's a spicy one. Let's try the kimchi. Price is about $1.50. Make sure we do this right. So open the lid, goes in, close the door, push the button. Put the soup stock in first before the water. Okay. Now we close it up and wait three minutes. So they've also got beer machines here. Look at this. These are two highs here. So mixed drinks basically. This is green tea and alcohol combined. And some snacks over here. Looking good. Wow, you can get bottles of beer. This is pretty cool. Bottle of sake. We won't be doing any drinking since it's only 9.30 in the morning. They've got canned foods here too. Food in a can. Check this out. It's Maguro right there. Yeah, a bunch of different stuff. Like tuna. That looks like some, some sort of tofu. Let's try that one. Number 10. This canned food is called ganmoto, and it is a tofu with slimy potato. Let's check it out. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's healthy. Gonna get some carrots too. Nice balanced first meal. Mm -hmm. Sweet. That's the tofu right there. Mm-hmm, it's spongy. It's in a sweet sauce. This is the potato. Mm -hmm. Some carrots. Mm, I like this. It's not hot like the ramen. It's much easier to eat. Mm. The tofu is moist and spongy. Delicious. Potato, very soft, not as gooey as I thought. That's a nice can of food for like a buck and a half. Very nice. Yep, there's a picture right there. Yep, just like they advertise. Back to the ramen now that it's cooled down a little bit. I can't get over how the kimchi, it's so realistic. Look at that. Looks like bacon bits, but it's kimchi. Mm. Lots of flavors going on here. Salty, spicy. The noodles are pretty typical. I think with ramen though, it's all about the soup. And there's lots of goodies in here. Well, it's definitely a quality cup of ramen for sure. And it came out of a vending machine, oh yeah. All right, let's go. We've arrived at Tokyo Station and inside the bus terminal is another machine. I think they sell sandwiches, let's check it out. Lunch packs, all right, by the Yamazaki Bread Company. Yeah, lunch packs, here we go. Mm 
所いたします。赤塚経由水戸駅行き4番乗り場から発車いたします。So I guess this is officially lunch time since these are called lunch packs. So you get two in each package. This is sort of a deluxe one, this first one. It's pretty heavy. It's got egg, tuna, ham, and sausage. Ooh, interesting. You get some wheat bread and then you get white bread. Let's do the wheat bread. Nice how they're sectioned like this. I like that. It's great. Okay, here we go, and these are chilled sandwiches. Oh, I see. So there's four different sandwiches in here. So obviously this is the egg. I thought it was all combined together. Okay, it's like a, so it's an egg salad. What's going to be in here? Probably the tuna. Yeah? Does that look like tuna? Hmm. Smells like tuna. Ham. Hmm. This is minced ham and mayonnaise. Not too bad. Up. This is the tuna mayonnaise. This is my favorite, actually, tuna mayonnaise. Mm. Mm -mm. It's got some onions in it. Yeah, this is really good. Last one, this is going to be the sausage. Woo! <laughs> Fun eats, huh? It looks like maybe ketchup. That's a good looking one. So, so. All right. Next up is pizza sauce and cheese. So, <laughs> I guess pizza in essence. Uh, pizza sandwich. Uh, I don't know about this one. Doesn't really look like a pizza, does it? Tomato sauce and cheese, really? Pizza sauce and cheese? Oh, I'm not feeling it. Oh, horrible. Next up, blueberry jam and margarine. <laughs> okay, this is a dessert one. Oh, look at that, jackpot. That looks really good. Oh, I know this is gonna be good. Mm. Oh, it's beautiful. The margarine and the blueberry jam really go together well with this white bread. Very nice sandwich. Next up is a very unique one. I've never seen this before. It's Hachimitsu and marmalade. So this is honey and marmalade mixed together. Pretty good picture. So another dessert one. Just going for a look. Oh, look at the marmalade. Oh, they looking sticky. Oh, uh oh, we're making a mess. Lots of flavor going on here. Marmalade, I don't know how I feel about this. Lemon marmalade. Mmm. You need some margarine on there. You need some margarine like the blueberry sandwich. Okay, and this one is tuna mayonnaise all by itself. And this is really, I believe, their most popular one. We've had this before. So this is gonna be just packed with tuna mayonnaise. Japan just does tuna mayonnaise amazing. You can buy them in sandwiches at 
kiosks and convenience stores, but that's basically what you get. Tuna mayo and maybe a little bit of onion. Well, it's beautiful. Very simple, but it works. Mmm. Oh, so creamy. And really nice flavor on the tuna. Mmm. This is the best one right here. Tuna mayonnaise. I've arrived in Asakusa, and this is curry land right here. The shop and the machine is right over here. Lots and lots of different kinds of curry. Very exciting stuff. Curry in a box. This looks really, really good. Is it ready to eat? I think it is. Got to give it a try. This is exciting. Curry from a vending machine. Yes. Let's have some curry. They look more like DVD boxes than they do food boxes, don't they? Let's we'll start with this big giant one. It's called Hein King Curry. It's a chicken curry. Beautiful packaging. There it is. Not so beautiful packaging. So we go from this to this. Oh, they sell other products. Okay, here goes. Oh, oh it's messy. Oh boy, oh there it is. Wow. I didn't think it would be a full piece of chicken. Wow. Okay, we'll go for the curry first. Oh, it's thick. This is really good curry. Wow, I am blown away. Way better than I expected. It's got some spice. It's got a lot of spice. Going in for the chicken leg. Wow, hard to believe this came out of a package. Ooh! Look at that chicken. Mmm. So tender, juicy. That is fabulous. Comes right off the bone. Beautiful. It's going for some chicken and some curry together. There we go. Chicken and curry together. Mm. That's a gourmet curry. If I didn't know any better, I would think this came out of a nice restaurant, not a vending machine. Very nice. This next one is called Huskop Curry from Hokkaido. Purple vegetable, it looks like. I'm not sure. I've never had it before. It's going to be in a silver bag. Yes. Oh, look at that purple color. Oh, boy. This is really thick. Oh, look at that color. Oh, goodness. Oh, my. And this has got, what kind of meat is in here? I'll let you know, I'm not really sure. Oh. I'm not sure how I feel about this one. Let's just smell it first. It smells like curry, standard curry. beef curry. It's tangy. Hmm, yeah, it could be like beets or something maybe. But it's also got a sweetness to it. Very interesting taste. There's potatoes in here. Wow. And it's a really thick curry. It's a lot of flavor. Mm-hmm. It's got some heat. The meat's a little tough, but pretty good. 
Here's an interesting one. It's called Misawa Air Base. There's an American military base in Misawa, so they're calling this Air Base Curry. Looks like it's got some history. Yeah, and this is a pork-based curry. This is gonna make me wanna fly away. We'll see. We'll see. Oh, look at the pork. Looks like a pretty basic curry. It's nice big chunks of pork though. Let's give it a try. Mm -hmm. The pork's nice. Mm -hmm. And this is fairly flavorless. This one's very mild. I should have started with this one. It's very, very mild. The other two, powerful, spicy. Yeah. Meh. I don't like this one as much. This is more like baby food. You know, this is more like a kid's curry. Anybody could eat this. The other two over here, hot and spicy. Yeah, very adult taste. So this is a kid's curry. So there it was, three different kinds of curry from a vending machine. What's next? Whoa, look what I found, guys. It's an apple vending machine. They sell fresh apples. How cool is that? A couple different types. These come in a box. And then you've got these ones in the middle here without skin on them, right? Just cut pieces. And these are cut into slices with the skin on them. I think that's the one I want right there. Beautiful packaging, look at that. It's nice and chilled, 42 calories. You can go right in here while the train's not in the station. Mm -hmm -hmm. It's crisp, it's fresh. It's got a nice little tartness to it. Japanese apples are banging. Mm. Beautiful apple. Oh my goodness. Mm. Wow, it's so good that it's it's cold. Mm. This is the healthiest thing I've had all day. Mm. So this is a pretty common machine in Japan. It's called 17 Ice. These things are everywhere, but yeah. Definitely could use some sweets about now. Let's try this one, it's new. It's super super lemon. So it's got little lemon bits in it. Or lemon pulp. First time I got this, I thought it was like you push it up like this, but no, you have to peel this off. You expose all of it like that. Okay. Lemon ice cream. Mm. Oh, it's lemon sherbet. Lemon sherbet. Lemon sherbet. Lemon sherbet. It is good. It's really nice. Refreshing the lemon. Definitely. And I haven't had sherbet in a while. Where are the chunks of lemon? You can kind of see the chunks of lemon. Is it lemon peel? Mm. It's all right. Interesting, it's a vending machine attached to a vending machine. So you got the drink vending machine here and it, attached to it is this small little vending machine here that sells energy bars. And this can be found at Suidobashi Subway Station. This is a massive size vending machine by Family Mart here, yep. It's all one machine, right? The controller's in the center. Never seen this before. So food on the left, 
drinks on the riot and all the drinks are in bags <laughs> bags or containers not bottles or cans interesting we're after the food though so yeah so we've got some pastries we've got rice balls what else do we have some more pastries we have some sweets down here and chocolate mm -hmm. some potato chips all right, what are we going to get from the family mart? Hmm, 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 hmm. Decisions, decisions. There's a spaghetti sandwich. We're definitely not getting that. Definitely not. A couple different types of hot dogs. Mm hmm. Haven't had any rice today yet. Gotta get a rice ball. Well, this is shake rice ball or salmon. Oh, interesting shape. There's the salmon right there. Get you salmon in the first bite. This time I will. Mm. This is a really good rice ball because the salt of the salmon mixes with the rice to season it very well. You know, naturally pairing well together. Salmon and rice. Yes. Next up is the hot dog in a bag, and it says it's hot, spicy. Let's see about that. Oh yeah, because it's got the mustard on it. Yeah, it's just hot, spicy mustard. Yeah. It's like a hot dog pastry. Mmm. It's a basic hot dog. Mm -hmm. Pretty common in Japan. Well, it is dressed up nice. It's got flavor. No, can't complain. It's cold though. I would prefer it's hot, but it's okay. And this one here is a double cream puff. Shoe cream in Japanese. Yep. So double means like double the cream. Open it for the, from the bottom so it doesn't spill out. Look at that. Custard and cream. Oh yeah. Dessert time. This is one bite right here. Mm, mm, mm. Oh boy. And this is really, really good. It's chilled. Mm. The cream and the custard go so well together. And the cream puff, the, the bun is really soft. This is amazing. I think this is my favorite dessert in Japan right here. Shoe cream. Yeah. Fabulous. Bananas, really? Yep. It's a banana vending machine by Doll. Going bananas for the vending machines. What number? They're all bananas. You can choose any number. Choose a number. How about six? Oh, it's chilled. This is good. I like that it's chilled. That is nice. It appears to be a little on the green side. A little on the green side. Hope it'll be okay. I'm not 
sure this is ripe or not. I'll let you know. Mm, it's a bit young. It's good though, it's fresh. And it's chilled, nice and cold. Mm-hmm. We'll save the rest for later. Let's go. Right. What's next? This is the final machine of the tour. Oh boy, what do we have here? It's a mixed machine. It's a natto machine, that's what it is. Mixed natto from different places, different styles. Natto, for those of you who aren't familiar, stinky fermented beans. Save the worst for last. First up, let's get some natto from Hokkaido. The ones in the cup right here. It's easier to eat out of a cup. Number five. Those are natto donuts. Not those stinky fermented beans, natto donuts. Yo, the natto beans, they're sticky, they're stinky. <laughs> you see in there? Okay, here we go. Gotta eat these fast, because they taste horrible. That is the secret. The quicker you eat them, the less painful. <coughs> mm, yummy. Mm. Sticky goodness. Mm. Mm. It's really hard to chew them up and swallow them. They don't break down. Mm. The taste is actually not so bad. It's the texture that's hard to get through. Mm -hmm. Not yet. Okay. <sighs> Finally swallowed them. It took about five minutes. <laughs> That was painful. I'm slowly becoming accustomed to natto. I'll keep trying. This is a natto donut, but it's going to be a lot more pleasant than the natto beans for sure. But don't think it has sugar in it. I'll let you know. Mm. It's got sugar in it. it. Tastes just like a cake donut. Mm hmm. This is good. Probably somewhat healthy. Is that the beans there or nuts? I think it's nuts inside here. It's got walnuts too. This is good. Definitely good. It's chilled too. Very nice. So that was the vending machine tour of Tokyo. Got a lot of machines in today. It was a total of it was a seven hour shoot. That's pretty close to a full day. So I wanna thank you guys for watching. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And as for my rating, I'm gonna give it a four. It's a gnome. Vending machine food is very basic. It's really nothing special, but it comes from a vending machine. That is cool, it's definitely cool. And traveling around, trying to find new stuff, that's what the game's all about. So see you guys in the next one. What's up, what's up, wasabi? Hey, congrats on making it all the way to the end screen. Care to hang around a bit more? Click on some of the links on the screen and watch a few more videos. Cheers and beers. Who's thirsty?